Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a Poshmark Bolo video. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. And again, these items sold first on Poshmark because most of my items are cross posted to Mercari and eBay. And if you'd like to see what I'm selling on those platforms, I also have videos sharing those, but I break it down by platform. Um, so this is Poshmark. So let's get started. All right. The first item that sold, and I'm going to do it like this so that I can kind of explain to you guys the fees. Um, and I can tell you if I sent them like a shipping discount or not. And if you sell on Poshmark, you're totally going to understand what I'm saying. And you'll probably appreciate seeing the number breakdown but you can't see the item as well. So you guys let me know if you'd rather see the item big or know the numbers. So I sold these express jeans. They were a retail arbitrage item. I picked up, let me make sure I'm screen sharing. I am at a, a discount store for about three bucks. They were new with tags. I sold them for $30 and I believe I got an offer on that. So there was no shipping discount. So Poshmark took their $6 so my earnings was $24 minus the $3 that I uh, paid for it. The next item I picked up at a garage sale. And again, uh, I got an offer on these for $25 and I took it. These are those rocker shoes. Uh, I think they're pronounced Avia, Aviva. I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I got them at a garage sale for like a buck or two. Sold them for 25, Posh took five, my earnings were 20 bucks. And on Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping. And when I make an offer to a buyer, I can offer them a discount and you'll see, I'll show you one here in a little bit. So far I haven't had any, which is great. Uh, that means people are either paying full price or they're sending me offers, which means I don't have to offer a shipping discount, which is awesome. So this Melissa McCarthy shirt, I picked up at a discount store. I paid about $3 for it. It sold for $30. Poshmark took six. My earnings were 24. Minus, of course, my cost of goods. This vintage Ohio State hat, which is super, super cool. Um, they offered me 30. Uh, Posh took six. My earnings were 24. I know that I could have held out for more on this hat because it is super cool. But um, I just moved it. So I think I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale. The next item is this Cacique Brawl. This is one where I sent an offer to watchers or likers. I think it's, it's likers on Poshmark. I sent an offer to likers. So I did offer this shipping discount, which means I'm paying $2.12 of their shipping, which makes their shipping $4.99 instead of the what is it? Seven something. So Posh took their 440. I gave them $2.12 towards their shipping. So my earnings was $15.48, but I paid about, I want to say this one cost me $6 plus tax. So not great margins, but for retail arbitrage, not too shabby. And that was from a discount store. The next item was given to me. Uh, so I got it free. It's a Hannah Anderson pajama set, size 10, new with tags. Hannah Anderson is awesome. I always look for it at garage sales. Um, it sells fast. I mean, I had so many likes on this item and on eBay, I was getting offers and somebody paid $30. Posh took six and my earnings were 24. And since I got it free, I got $24 for that. This little, uh, it's just like a reversible hat. These are great items to pick up at garage sales. Not a big bolo item. I sold it for $7. Um, I think if the item is, it's either $10 or $12 or less, Posh automatically takes $2.95. So the bad thing is like this item probably weighs four ounces, but because Poshmark is all priority mail, I had to ship it priority mail, which means the buyer is paying the seven dollars in some sense for um shipping an item that could ship for like three bucks so that is one kind of drawback of poshmark but um it's also the good thing about it is is if you have an item that's five pounds you're only paying seven dollars to have it shipped wherever you live it doesn't matter it's a flat rate 
fee. So it's kind of good and kind of bad. It depends on what the item is. The next item I sold was this mixed lot of 20 necklaces. Most are wood and beads. And I sent out an offer on this for $25. So I've got my posh fee of five and the shipping discount that I gave them of two twelve. dollars so my earnings was $17.88. This is from my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy 350 pounds. So um, yeah, my earnings $17.88 on that. This Nike running pullover, I got this at a garage sale. And I think it was a dollar, maybe it was two. And I sent an offer on this one. So you can see my posh fee of $4.40, my shipping discount of $2.12. So my earnings was $15.48. So $15.48 let's say I paid two bucks, I made $13 and 48 cents. Fantastic. I'll take those margins. The next item are these Catherine shoes. This was a real arbitrage I used on their website when they were having a major clearance sale. And I think I had a coupon. I cannot remember what the breakdown was for these. It wasn't very much like five bucks less. Uh, so I sold them for 22. Poshmark took 440. Uh, my earnings was 1760 minus my cost of goods. All right. So Amber from Ooh Ah Crochet YouTube channel messaged me and was interested in some of my items. And she ended up buying them on Poshmark. So she got um, this cute little vintage strawberry shortcake. And then that I picked up at a a garage sale. It was like a bulk buy toy thing. So I can't say exactly what I had in it because I don't know because I bought so much stuff. And then these beads were in another bulk buy that I got at a garage. I got so many beads. I mean, it was just a huge box or tote full. It was in a box and I threw it into a huge tote and it was like filled to the top. So um, again, I got a really great deal on it. So I made her a good deal. Um, I asked her what she wanted to pay and she said 85. So I sent her an offer for 75 just because, you know, she's a subscriber. She's somebody that I watch on YouTube and she's a really nice person. And she said 85 and I'm like, you know what? I got a great deal. I'm going to pass the good deal onto her. And I sold it for 75. I don't know if you guys know about jewelry, like making stuff, but it's not cheap. Um, so, uh, $75 Poshmark took 15. So I, my profit or my earnings on this was $60 minus cost of goods. Um, here is her channel and right here is the video that she did. Um, she did my unboxing of my items and then a couple other people's, but you can see everything she got in the lot. So if you guys want to check that out. And then she crochets and makes some really amazing items. Like, look at this sloth. So cool. Um, but she wanted the beads to make these, um, I forget what they're called. They're markers for like when you crochet. So that's what she was uh, looking to buy those for. So definitely go check her out. Ooh, ah, crochet. And it's right here. You can see it. And yeah, so she's supported the channel by a person and I appreciate so much thank you amber and you rock and thank you again i appreciate you all right the next one and if anybody else is interested in purchasing something from my ebay my poshmark my um part there are links down in the description of the video and definitely look at each uh, if you find an item check the other um platforms because sometimes I don't have stuff priced the same because I'll do price drops in one thing and not do it on the other. Or sometimes I have free shipping. So definitely check it out. Okay, so this is a real, really, really old listing. I was so happy to say goodbye to this one. Um, I did not make a ton of money. Uh, I, I want to say I paid five or 10 bucks for this. It was a retail arbitrage item. And I sold this for $18. Uh, Poshmark took $3.60 and my earnings were $14.40 minus cost of goods. Here's another one. I just want my swimsuits gone. Um, and what's nice about selling swimsuits on Poshmark and Mercari is there's no returns. So if it doesn't fit, they just relist it themselves and you don't have to deal with a return. Like on eBay, you get returns. 
So most people on Poshmark, they just reposh it if it doesn't work for them. This one I picked up at a discount store. Might have been TJ Maxx when they do their yellow tag clearance. I think I had like five to seven dollars in this one. It sold for 25. Posh took five, and my earnings was 20 minus cost of goods. More of these ku koi nuts. I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. This was a lot of three. Um, crafters will buy these and paint them, or um, I've also sold some that are already painted. But these came from my I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay bulk buy 350 pounds. I know I bought on eBay on eBay, but it sold first on Poshmark. So I sold these for $15. Posh took three bucks, and my cost of goods is very minimal. So my earnings was about $11.50, we'll say. The next item are these L.L. Bean snow pants. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say they were $5. They were new with tags. I sold them for $40. Poshmark took eight. My earnings was $32 minus cost of goods. This necklace is another one that is so stale. I've had this item for so many years. I can't even tell. Uh, picked this up, I believe, at a discount store. And it was probably like a dollar or less. But either way. Uh, I sent an offer for 13. So I Poshmark took 295. And then I offered the shipping discount. So my earnings was only $7.93. But I had less than a buck in it. So you know, I still made like six or $7. So I'm happy with that. Victoria, oh, I sent an offer of 18. So Posh took 360. I sent the shipping discount of $2.12. And my earnings on this was $12 and 28 cents minus cost of goods, which was about three bucks. The next item is this Catherine's bra. I bought a bunch of these at a discount store. I think I paid $5 each for them. I sold this for $17, Posh took 340, so 1360 minus my five plus tax. So not a huge, not huge margins, but easy to list. And I had multiples. Express corduroy leggings. Um, I paid $3 for these at a discount store. I sent an offer for $25. Posh took five. My shipping discount to the buyer was $2.12. So $17.08 was my um, earnings minus my cost of goods. Another brawl. You guys can see the numbers. Sold it for $23. That was an offer that I sent out. Posh took $4.60. My shipping discount, $212, $16.28, all was my earnings. I think I had about $6.40, whatever tax would be in this item. So I made about 10 bucks. Victoria's Secret Bra, paid three, sold it for $17. $340 Poshmark, I sent a discount, $212, so $11.48 minus my $3. Here's another one, same thing, way I sold this one for $22. It's another Victoria's Secret Bra. You guys can see the numbers. This came from my I got it free garage sale. I got so much free at this garage sale. You guys have got to go see that video. It is crazy. And I have sold quite a bit of stuff. I just did a video on the items that I've sold so far from that free garage sale. Uh, 35 bucks. And Posh took seven. And my earnings was 28. And I got it free. So I made $28. Talbot shorts. I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. Like I remember which garage sale I got them at. I remember what else I bought at the garage sale. I have no idea why I remember that. But yeah, I bought a bunch of scrapbooking stuff at the same garage sale. So I sold these for $10. Posh took $2.95 and my earnings was $7.05 and I had 50 cents in them. So great bread and butter. This brawl, the girl messaged me and said, hey, um, my old address was in there. So you'll probably be getting this back. But I didn't get it back and it shows delivered. So I don't know what's up with that. Sold it for $15. Uh, Poshmark took three. So my earnings were 12. I got this at a discount store for $2. So I made about 10 bucks on this brawl. The next item I sold is this LaBlanca black swimsuit. I believe this one came from TJ Maxx yellow tag or it came from Gabriel Brothers on clearance. I think I paid $5 for it. I know I paid $5 for it, but I can't remember which store. But I sold it for $40. Poshmark took eight. 
and my earnings was 32. So great margins on that one. These Spanx hipster panties, picked these up at a discount store for $2, sold them for 12, Posh took 295, 905 was my earnings. It's underwear. You know, you're not going to have huge margins on retail arbitrage underwear, but uh, definitely making money on those. I bought probably 50 pair of these at $2 a piece. So I have definitely made a good, um, a good turnaround on those. This is a Kasik swim tankini top, top only. I picked this up for $3. I sold it for $25 and Poshmark took five and sorry, I got distracted by a Facebook message. Shipping discount was $212, $17.88 minus my $3. So I made about 15 bucks on that one. Okay, so this is another bundle and the shoes I got free, I believe the dress and the Doc McStuff and stuff came from garage sales. So because I got the shoes free, I was willing to work with them on a bundle price. The Disney dress was not in great condition. It was more of just like, hey, if you want something cheap for your, you know, like if you don't want to spend $30 on a Disney dress, here's one that's been used, you know, I'll sell it to you cheap. So they offered me 36 for all of these items. Poshmark took 720. So my earnings was 2880. And I probably had less than $5 in all of this stuff because garage sales and free. So the next item are these Kids Connection sandals. I can't remember where I got these. These might have been given to me free also. Uh, they did take a while to sell. I got them. Uh, I sold them for $10. Posh took $2.95. My earnings was $7.05. Picked this up for $3. It's a Victoria's Secret Bustier. I sold it for $20. Posh took $4. My earnings was $16. Magic suit, miracle suit, swimsuit. This was a retail arbitrage item. I cannot remember what I paid for it. I know that I got it on a website for, um, it was on sale and then I had coupons. Sometimes I retail arbitrage online at stores, but I don't do it anymore just because it's hard to find good deals. But I bought, I think like 15 of these and I think I have one left. So they have been good to me. Not huge margins, but um, decent. So I sold this for, I sent an offer for 40. Posh took 80, my 212 discount. So my earnings were 29.88. So Lane Bryant crop pants. These I got at a discount store. I think I paid a dollar each for these and I got like five or six pair. Um, 10 bucks is what they sold for. 295 Posh fee, 705. Uh, as my earnings minus the dollar. So I made about six bucks on them. But again, I bought like six pair of them. It's one listing, multi quantity, easy to list, and then just wait for them to sell. All right, you guys, what do you think? What do you think about Poshmark? Are you selling on Poshmark? Uh, do you sell on other platforms? What's your favorite platform? Um, yeah. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my other video, but I use List Perfectly. I usually start my items on eBay and then cross to Posh, Mercari, Etsy sometimes, Grailed sometimes, still learning Grailed. But uh, List Perfectly is awesome if you guys have not checked it out. I have a link to a video down in the description. And then I also have my Bolo Buddies coupon code. If you join List Perfectly, please use that. Um, it is an affiliate link. I do get like a a commission, but you guys get 30% off if you use it. So when you're signing up, if you put that into the coupon code area, you'll get 30% um, off your first month, which is awesome. I highly recommend it. I would not tell you guys to try it if I wasn't using it um, and loving it. So I love it. It saves me so much time. If you watch my videos, I show you a demonstration of how it works. It's such a time saver, you guys. It's awesome. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. All my store links are down below if you want to take a look. And if you make an offer, again, please be sure to put Bolo Buddy somewhere so I know that you're from the channel and you're a subscriber. And be sure you're subscribed because I went on to a channel that I know I'm subscribed to the other day and YouTube unsubscribed me. So make sure you're still subscribed. All right. Thanks for watching and hit that bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.